Hey everyone, Eric here, and today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite accessories for the base blind corner cabinet. Now, if you're not already familiar with what a blind corner cabinet is, I've got a couple behind me. So, what it is, is you can see that on the left side here, we have a cabinet that meets up to the sink, and then I've got my toaster and a bunch of um, small appliances over there. Um, and how do you access that space underneath? Uh, well, you access it through this door and let me turn on the light here. And you can see that the cabinet extends all the way to the back corner right beneath my toaster oven. Um, and I've got some, I've got a blender stuck in there and I've got a, you know, some pans and pots. Um, and then this just operates like a normal cabinet. Um, that's my gas shutoff valve in the back. Um, but yeah, essentially the door just swings open and then you um, reach inside. So they call it a blind corner cabinet for that reason. Now on the right here, I'm gonna put this here. Now that's my, um, what I call the magic corner. Um, I think the factory actually calls this the base metal pullout cabinet, um, or base corner pullout cabinet. And you can see that inside we've got um, the hardware that extends to almost the back of the cabinet, not quite. You've got about four or five inches of dead space in the back. But um, essentially, I'm gonna turn off this light here, sorry. Uh, but essentially, this hardware slides back in and the door closes like that. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna do that again, um, just because it's so cool. Um, so what you have here is you have a metal hardware that attaches to the back of the door. Um, you can see like that. And as this front unit operates, it's all one motion and it uh, swings the back unit in and out. Um, and it has a soft closing feature. Um, I've had this unit for about five years now and you know, there's not a whole lot of wear and tear on it. You can see that there, I mean, the hardware can be tightened a little bit and maybe just tighten some screws to adjust it a little slightly. But um, overall, really no complaints on the unit. Um, works quite well. If you were to tell me, Eric, hey, I want to maximize my storage, then I would say stick with the regular uh, blind corner cabinet with just shelves only, then you can pile on however much you need. But if you said, hey, Eric, I really want to make it convenient to access the storage, then I would say get one of these hardware um, and just keep in mind that, you know, the hardware itself takes up some space uh, and it doesn't utilize a full cabinet, but it does make things a lot easier to do. Um, couple of uh, quick specs, so my camera focus here. So I was able to find this uh, from the installation guide. Uh, as you can see on the hardware attaching to the door side of things, you've got 8 kg, which is 17.6 pounds uh, per shelf. And then on the, um, on the cabinet side, those shelves are a little bigger. They're um, nine and a half kg, which is 21 pounds basically. And I also have a tray size here too. On the door side, you have 11 by 16 and a half. And on the uh, cabinet side is 13 and a half by 16 and a half. Um, the cabinets typically, or baseline corner cabinets are typically 42 to 48 inches. In this case, the magic corner is a 42 inch cabinet. Um, I have it installed to um, 40, I have it installed to 46 inches, and that's because I've included a four inch filler here um, because I have a dishwasher handle here and I need to make sure um, my drawer doesn't bang on the handle and that this actually clears as well. So um, I've pulled it out forward by about four inches. Uh, all right, finally the camera decides to focus. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the filler right there um, for operational clearance. All right, um, that's it for me for today. And let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful. And if you've, uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.